JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, Klansman gang had its tentacles in all the parishes, say detective. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A veteran police investigator assigned to the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigations Unit yesterday said the St. Catherine-based Klansman gang had its tentacles in more than five parishes on the island. According to the investigator, who is among six police witnesses who have so far taken the witness stand, in the trial of 33 people accused of being members of the gang, other communities affected by the criminal organization outside of Spanish Town and its environs were in the parishes of Clarendon, Manchester, St. Anne, Trelawney, among others. He said his investigations into the outfit, which began in April 2015, had pegged more than 50 individuals with key persons of interest being alleged leader of the Wondon faction of the gang, Andre Blackman Bryan, his brother Kevon Green, Sheldon Walters, otherwise known as Termite, and Tesha Miller, otherwise called Hombre, the reputed leader of the other faction of the gang, who was convicted in 2019 in a separate trial. Yesterday, the Crown continued to show up its case by corroborating the evidence of the lead investigator in the case, who completed testifying last week, with a senior detective sharing similar details, of the 2018 arrest of Brian, along with his brother, mother and sister-in-law. The 2019 discovery of remains at an alleged burial plot in Rivoli, St. Catherine, used by the gang to inter victims, and the July 2019 arrest of Jamaica Defense Force Private, Jermaine Angel Robinson, an alleged member of the outfit. The lead police investigator, on December 1, had detailed for the court the 2018 pre-dawn police operation, in which Brian was held at his posh apartment on Shorted Road in the corporate area. Yesterday, the senior sleuth said when officers visited the premises and shouted police, it was some time before Brian or any of his family members responded. He said, armed with a warrant, the team conducted a search of the premises, which unveiled nothing of evidentiary value. He told the court that none of the family members, when told the reason they were being taken into custody, made any reply. In the meantime, the senior detective said he had been the one to supervise a team of police officers and members of the Jamaica Defense Force on at least two occasions in 2019 in search of a burial plot allegedly used by the gang. The detective said witness number two, in the company of several detectives in 2019, had traveled to the different areas where the witness pointed out sites where several of the gang's activities and crimes were committed. Among the scenes visited was the area in Rivoli, where two men from Denham Town who had allegedly been kidnapped by the gang were murdered. The team, he said, then went to Waterloo Lane, where the bodies had been buried. Witness number two's testimony of that incident has been hotly disputed by defense attorneys for the accused naming that crime. Yesterday, the detective said search activities, aided by a cut of a dog named Chad, and a tractor operated by members of the Jamaica Defense Force led to the unearthing of a human skull, human bones and items of clothing following a particular excavation exercise. The detective also recalled for the court the July 22, 2019 arrest of JDF operative Jermaine Robinson. According to the detective, acting on instructions of a superior officer, E, in the company of two other detectives, visited the army base in St. Andrew, where he was escorted to a room to meet Robinson, who was dressed in military clothing. He said the young private, who was assigned to the engineering regiment of the JDF, provided him with a Trelawney address. He said Robinson, when told he was a suspect in the gang investigations and informed that he would be taken into custody, said nothing. A search of his quarters at Upper Camp, the detective said, revealed nothing incriminating. Yesterday, the detective, like his colleagues before him, identified Brian, Green and Robinson for the court. In November, the lead detective in his evidence had said during a visit to Robinson at the Grand Spen lockup where he was taken into custody. The army man told him that his father was also a member of the JDF. In early November, witness number two in his evidence alleged that Robinson was agitated that the gang was losing ground after Brian was locked up in 2018 when the gang began splintering. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.